pleasure to meet y'all at last, and welcome back to Nerf Secrets Revealed. So today, I'd like to go on ahead and confess about a couple things, really quick. Number one, it's about time that I might as well start displaying a few points of view that I got on the Ultra lineup. The Ultra lineup, of course, has had a lot of disregard and has had a lot of criticism and a lot of backlash, all because of a few things regarding their performance and the type of darts that they utilize. And the second thing is that when it comes to the Ultra series, it's getting much bigger now, and I suppose that that should be enough to pretty much quench people's thirst for wanting some new material based on Nerf's lineup for 2020. But then again, we are in fact going to get a lot of other blasters from other lineups, including the Mega lineup and the Zombie Strike lineup. And we're also going to get some more material to work with for the Alpha Strike lineup. But until that pretty much happens, we got ourselves six new Ultra Blasters to look out for here in 2020. But of course, there's already a couple of them that had already been released. There was the Ultra 1, for example, and that came out last October. And then there was the Ultra 2, which of course came out a few months ago. But pretty soon we are in fact going to look out for the other five. There's the Ultra 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. So that's seven blasters that we'll have by the end of 2020 from the Ultra lineup. Now, of course, I will reiterate the fact that of course, people might actually think that the Ultra Darts are not as reliable and are rather faulty with their performance, but regardless of what that is, regardless of what the age or range claim should be, regardless of how it handles very well, it's pretty much my best interest to simply talk about the lineup itself. Of course, we already know about the Ultra 1 and the Ultra 2, and we've also gotten a few reviews out of the way by Lord Draconical, about the 4 and 5. Now to be honest, the 4 and 5 aren't entirely in and out of production yet and into the marketplace, but that's only because there's probably a couple other bugs and a few kinks to work out with. But until that basically happens, we're just kind of wandering in and out of what could possibly be wrong or right about the Ultra 4 or 5. Now to be fair, I mean, I probably will agree once, and only once, that the Ultra lineup has had some flaws here and there. But on top of all that, the fact that we're getting a lot of new blasters very quickly by Hasbro themselves, it's a pretty big opportunity that we're going to face, no matter what happens. We already got the 1 and 2 out of the way, so of course we got to wait for the 4 and 5 to come out, which could be months from now. But of course, we've already known that the fact that the Ultra 3 is going to be a shotgun based blaster, which will have a double barrel sort of design similar to the Double Dealer from the Doomlands lineup. And we're also going to get ourselves a sniper from the Ultra lineup, that of which will be the number 7. And of course, if you haven't already checked out its wiki page, then well, the Ultra 7 is actually priced at 52.90 euros. In translation, That'll be just under 60 American dollars. That would make it the most expensive blaster in the Ultra lineup so far, even more so than the Ultra 1. But aside from pricing and all that good stuff, I'd say the Ultra lineup is a once in a lifetime opportunity, not just with bigger, better performing darts out there. Even if you could simply get performance out of them and then just claim that they're not good, I'd say try it again at some point. We haven't had a lot of contact with Random Shadow 09, but it was in fact determined that the Nerf Mega Centurion, at the time of its release, it did make a pretty close call with its first range claim of 100 feet. Because after all, without the barrel, Random Shadow 09 was able to get a Mega Dart as far as 92 feet. 92 feet. So, of course, if you were to put it at an angle without the barrel, then maybe you'd be able to get up to 100. Now, Drac, of course, has actually put this kind of method into action with some of the Ultra Blasters, but 
even still, there's really no point in, you know, trying to deny the total potential of an Ultra Darts flight. Sure, it is different, its composition is much different, and it certainly flies different than most other darts, but you just gotta give it credit. The fact that an Ultra Dart, from the point in which that I fired a lot of them, they really flew pretty impressively. Even at just straight level shots, you could simply get yourself some decent performance out of all of them. Now, I don't really have any gripes against Drac for thinking that the Ultra lineup is a complete flop, but I will say this. Drac, I think you're just overreacting about all of this whole entire stuff here. The Ultra lineup itself has been a blast so far. But the only real way for me to find out exactly what you're getting out of those other Ultra Blasters that you got already is to have some for myself. Of course, as soon as the 4 and 5 come out into the marketplace firsthand, I will try them out. I might even do a review on them when Aftersaw comes out later this year. After, well, Season 8's going to be all over with. But the point is, is that no matter what we think, the Ultra lineup will have to be good at some point. Even if it might have been bad with the Ultra 1's performance and its handling and the like, the Ultra 2 was still pretty impressive, the way I saw it. A six-shooter with motorized flywheels in it? How could you go wrong with that? It probably wasn't as awesome as the Barricade with a 10-shot capacity with the Ultra 2 having only six, but that still doesn't really mean that the Ultra lineup will indeed be a flop. The 4 might be nice, the 5 might be awesome, but the only real way to know is to have the blasters for yourself. Of course, Drac is just one person out there, so if Drac has a ton of grudges to handle against Nerf for all of this Ultra lineup dilemma that's been happening so far, then well, I'd say go for it. Keep going at it, Drac. Maybe the Ultra 3 and 7 might blow your mind. So, I guess at this point, I might as well just let some of this stuff go, because the 3 and 7 are going to be out soon, and we might have some reviews done on them. Maybe unboxings as well. But we have yet to hear about the Ultra 6. I wonder what that's going to be like. Pretty soon we'll have to find out. But if you want to see more, go down to my channel, though. Make sure that you like, subscribe, comment, follow me on social media, and stay on the Hollywood side.